Hindi Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus. One-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Okay, yesterday we have covered the mouse over on JavaScript executor. This topic is done. Okay, so now we are going to cover test ng. Today we will try to focus on some basic annotations. Basic annotations on attributes. Okay, so that is objective. First we will see what is test ng. What is the main advantage of test ng? Okay. So why we need to learn test ng? What are the advantages I get by learning test ng? Because we have learned Java, right? And we try to use the same concepts in Selenium, right? Selenium is done. Then what is the advantage of learning test ng? Is it really required to learn test ng? We'll see the answers for all these questions. Okay. In Selenium WebDriver using Java, there are total two frameworks available. Okay. In Selenium WebDriver using Java, there are two frameworks available. Let me write down. The first one is the first one is JUnit. The second one is test engine okay so we are we are learning test ng only why because uh, junit is uh, little uh, the compared to junit test ng is more advanced test ng has more features when compared to junit that's the reason test ng is preferable currently because junit is having very less annotations compared to test ng test ng has more advanced features We'll list down all the advanced features when compared with JUnit. Let's see what are the advanced features available in TestNG making so powerful when compared to JUnit. We can use any framework. Either I can use JUnit or else I can use TestNG. But we are using TestNG because it is more powerful because it has a lot of advanced features. Let me list down all the advanced features. Okay, so what are the adv advanced to powerful features when compared to JUnit? Using test ng, we can group the test cases. So every topic what I am explaining the theory, we are going to see an example. So how do we group the test cases? So what is the main advantage of grouping the test case? So what is a test case? All these things we'll see. Let me list down all the features, then we get into actual concepts. Okay. Then using test ng we can group the test cases. Fine. Then using test ng we can run the test cases parallelly. Okay. When I am saying parallelly, suppose for example, the main advantage of Selenium is browser compatibility testing, right? The main advantage of Selenium WebDriver is browser compatibility testing. Means what? When I get a bill, I should be able to run on Firefox, IE, Chrome, and I have to give sign off on all the three browsers, right? And I have to do it parallelly also. If you want to do it parallelly on multiple browsers, test engine will be helpful for us. Right, so you can run all the test cases, one test case like test cases on IE, Firefox, Chrome parallelly means all will run at the same time. Okay, so it is a very good advantage. Suppose for example you got the bill, you have to give the sign off. What you can do? You can use test ng. You can run the test cases parallelly on Firefox, IE, and Chrome. That's the advantage you get it when compared to JUnit.
okay test ng generates good reports okay test ng is generating a good reports which are very helpful for us to understand suppose for example why we are going for frameworks why you are going for test ng and jnt is basically selenium is selenium is useful to automate the web application only but in selenium web driver we are not writing any test cases right so if you want to exactly if you want to exactly write the automation test case you have to go for jnit or test ng so using these two frameworks we are going to exactly write the test cases similar to manual test cases suppose for example i have a requirement i'll write a manual test case okay but when i want to automate the test case exactly as the manual test case looks like i go for a framework either i go for a jnit or i go for a test ng without these frameworks you cannot write exactly the same as a manual test case and also whenever you try to execute the test cases you should get some html reports because when you try to run selenium web driver till now we have seen so many programs we didn't get any report so how do you confirm the test case is pass or fail okay the test case is pass or fail so that's the reason once you write the manual test cases you have to start automating them when you start automating them you should report it also the test case is pass the test case is fail right being a tester we need to test and check whether it is pass or fail because when you try to execute the same test cases in selenium web driver it doesn't generate any report saying that test case is pass or fail but if you want to automate test case i should get a result as pass or fail right that's the reason i go for a jnit or test ng which will helpful for me to automate the manual test cases and generate the report by 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 giving the result as pass or fail by giving the result as pass or fail otherwise if you don't want reports if you don't want the test case result as pass or fail you can simply use web driver also but in the real time scenarios we have to automate the test cases and we have to say the result saying that this test case is pass this test case is fail so if you want to achieve that kind of report and if you want to write exactly the same test case as how you write in manual test cases you have to go for frameworks so frameworks will help us to write the test cases and frameworks will help us to report the test cases pass or fail that is the reason we are using frameworks otherwise not required we can use selenium web driver we launch selenium web driver that is done but how do you confirm the test cases pass or fail on what basis you are saying no we are not at all checking that we are just doing automation we checked how do you do mouse over how do you execute javascript how do you take a screenshot all these things we are checking but we never check for the whether the test case is pass or fail so now in frameworks we actually deal with the test cases we deal with the test cases i feel everybody knows what's a test case right the test case contains expected value and the actual value you compare them and say pass or fail right the same kind of look and feel you get in the frameworks also you try to generate a actual result and try to take the expected value from the manual test cases then you compare and if both are matching you say the test case is pass you say then test case is fail if they are both are not matching right that is the reason we are going for test ng or jnit but jnit is a very less features available that's the reason i'm going for test ng okay so what is the main objective for going for frameworks yes cool <coughs> test cases till now we didn't discuss about test cases now in the frameworks we are talking about test cases right so how do we write test cases in test ng that is a point here how do you write test cases in the test ng okay let me write one manual test case for you i'll write a manual test case because i am a manual tester i have a one requirement i'll write the manual test case for this c the test case id is 
TC underscore zero zero one. Basically, test cases has unique ID. You can give any format. Depends upon the company, they'll give the format. Suppose I give TC underscore zero zero one. I have a requirement to check the title of the page. Okay. What's the test case description? The test case description is verify the or objective of the test case is verify the title of the page. So I'll write the objective. Okay. So I have written this final test case. And also once you write the objective of it, you start writing the test steps. Let me write the test steps. Okay, so you have written this test case. I have written a small format because you can write a bigger format because you write input data, you write three conditions, a lot of field, lot of columns are there, but I make it a short. So this is the manual test case I have written, right? Then I give this test case to the automation tester. So what he will write exactly, see. So for opening the browser, he will write. Okay. For entering the URL, he'll say driver.get. For checking the title, he will check driver.get title. And he'll store in the actual value here. Okay. And here, you got, say, suppose for example, you got the actual value as Google. So, so, in the status, when you say pass, the expected value should match with the actual value, right? So, you have to compare. If you want to compare expected against actual, you have to write here as Okay, so what I have written, asset dot asset equals, I am comparing the actual against expected. So till now, we are getting the title, but we are not checking whether the it is matching with the expected or not, but we are checking here. So when the expected is matching with the actual, the test case is passed for you, right? But here you no need to report, but when you try to compare here, it automatically says that if actual is equal to expected, it says this test case is pass. It says that if that both are not equal, it says the test case is fail. Then your job is done. But you have to, after writing all these steps, I have written all these steps, then you have to place these steps here. See, I'm writing one method. See, the same steps I have to place in one method, right? See. Okay, asset, basically asset dot asset equals, what we are trying to do is, asset is a class, it contains one, one static method called asset, it requires two strings, one is the actual string, second one is the expected string, okay, asset is a class, asset equals is an,